So why do senior level data scientists need to learn data engineering skills? And why can it help you in your job search? Stick around and let's find out. So why data engineering skills? Well, the real value of data engineering skills for data scientists really lies in the quality of your models. Your AI and machine learning are really only as good as the data that they're built on. And in most places, building custom models, that's kind of rare. Senior level data scientists spend more time tweaking models, or more often, the data that goes into them, which is why data engineering matters. Most of our struggle is getting the data, cleaning, and transforming it, and then feature engineering. The deployment ad and ML ops actually plays a pretty small part. And the paradigm garbage in, garbage out matters here. If your data is off, your models will be too. So mastering data engineering isn't a nice to have, it's really a need to have. And it really makes sure your models are reflecting a data reality. With strong data engineering skills, you'll stand out to employers, and it really gives you an edge in job interviews and when you're leading a team. So you're probably wondering, what's the difference between junior and senior data engineering skills? For junior data scientists, it's really all about the basics. You're pulling data, usually from multiple sources, cleaning it, and maybe doing some feature engineering here and there. You're following established guidelines and really more focusing on the task at hand and learning the ropes of this. Now, for senior data scientists, you're on another level. You're integrating data from multiple sources and actively optimizing the flow and ensuring the models fit seamlessly into the larger data system. So you're not just working with the model, you're also considering the entire picture, it's systems engineering. And plus, you're the bridge between the data science and data engineering teams, making sure that you can collaborate and understand effective results. And this is really good because employers really notice when you have more than just ML modeling skills. They really want to know if you can engineer and ingest the data. And so as a senior data scientist, mastering data engineering can make you their top pick and can help make your teams deliver. But there's a big data picture that you really need to be looking at. So the difference between junior and senior level here is it's a wider view. Machine learning models are always part of a larger data system. And as a senior level, you're going to have to assist in designing that system to get the data to your models. The way your model works, that's on you to find out. Data pipelines, validation, and monitoring are also your responsibility. Your model is, of course, just one part of that larger mechanism. And if you don't understand how that data is ingested, well, your model could become a huge cost sink. I've seen it several times, especially if the data isn't aligned with the business problem, which is big. If you think, well, you're gonna just run algorithms on ready to use data, there's a reality check here. You'll be optimizing data flows using Spark and SQL for tasks like data processing and feature engineering. And it helps you really understand the data relationships, which help feature engineering. All ML models do sit inside a larger system. And knowing that big picture isn't just good, it also shows that you can think in systems design and really think about the downstream effects of your models. And data engineering is also crucial for improving quality. Your model's quality depends highly on the data that you're going to use. And understanding how to improve that, data engineering skills. While you are not the one building the pipelines, knowing these skills really helps. It helps you optimize, and the skills here, they really tell you what's possible with the model. Data always limits the features we can engineer and the predictions we can make. Think data quality, data processes, and even data available. These have exponential effects on the model, and we really need to think hard about it. Data engineering also helps you communicate with the people who know where the sources of the data are. It's one thing to talk about data with data engineers, but it's really another thing to speak their languages. You'll find your data sources and realize your model's limitations if you speak their language. And that's very important, I've found. Companies and data teams really want someone who can spot and fix data problems from the start. And with those data engineering skills that you have, that someone could be you. So what does this all mean? In a nutshell, as a senior data scientist, a big chunk of your work will involve data processing. I highly recommend becoming familiar with ETL tools and concepts. Data modeling is also very useful here. If you get a chance to practice them, it's going to be incredibly useful. Thinking beyond the model and looking at the system is a crucial for our senior level data scientists. Models really aren't islands. Don't make the mistake of thinking you'll only be working on machine learning algorithms as a data scientist. While that's an important part of the job, it'll take up only a very small portion of your time. Focus on learning the data engineering skills that enable your ML models. Bottom line, data engineering skills are not just optional extras for data scientists, especially at a senior level. They're a fundamental part of being effective in the AI and data science field.